leading politicians who consider themselves to be in the center of the Israeli political map told the Jerusalem Post Monday that they do not regret their endorsements of U.S. President Donald Trump's decision to recognize Jerusalem as the nation's capital and to start the process of moving America's embassy there the main oppositions to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Yesh added leader Yair Lapid and Zionist Union Chairman Avi Gabay, said Trump made the correct decision in retrospect, despite the Palestinian violence that has ensued since. Be the first to know, join our Facebook page. Function, D, S, ID, VAR JS, FJS equal D get elements but tag name, S, 0, if, D get element beard, ID, return, JS equal D creatilement, S, JS dot ID equal ID, JS SRC equal slash slash connect Facebook dot net slash n underscore us slash all JS number XFBML equal one and app ID equal one six three four one four eight zero six eight nine seven FJS parent node insert before JS FJS document script Facebook JS SDK U.S. President Donald Trump recognizes Jerusalem as Israel's capital and announces embassy to relocate. Jerusalem is our eternal capital and President Trump did the right thing in recognizing that, Lapid said. Israel and the United States cannot make policy based on threats and intimidation by extremists. We should deal with any terror attacks, including rocket fire from Gaza, with a firm hand. Answering a question from the Post asked at the Zionist Union faction meeting, Gabe said that while he had no regrets about backing the Trump announcements, Netanyahu should have done a better job handling the rocket fire from the Gaza Strip that has come in response. I still support the Trump declaration that was 70 years overdue, Gabe said. It was good to take a positive step on the diplomatic front. I'm sorry it hasn't moved the diplomatic process forward. But there is no justification for firing on Israeli citizens, and when there is firing on Israeli citizens, we must respond. The response that there has been, clearly has not stopped the firing. Gabay said Israel should not accept continued rocket fire on the south of the country. He accused Netanyahu of being soft on terrorist groups in Gaza and indifferent to residents near the border of the Strip. No one on our side has been hurt yet, but that can change. Gabay said. Netanyahu is weak against Hamas. Three weeks of firing and we don't hear him. We asked him in the Nesset about the rocket fire, and he said next question. He shows no empathy to the residents, and Hamas notices it. After the Prime Minister says to hundreds of thousands under fire next question, the people of Israel will tell him next Prime Minister. Gabe also lashed out at Defense Minister Avigdor Lieberman, Israel has a commentator as Defense Minister. We have enough commentators. We need a new Defense Minister. Lieberman responded to the comments made by Gabe, saying, When I hear nonsense from irrelevant people, I can only have mercy on them. Asked on Army Radio about whether he regrets Trump's announcements on Jerusalem, Lieberman said, we took into account that there would be a violent reaction and endorsed the historic decision anyway. Share on Facebook Share on Twitter Tags, Jerusalem Arab-Israeli Conflict Trump Jerusalem Announcement